you can enjoy this evening, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the evening, it's going to be quiet. In fact, the rest of this week, we can all Great. kind of rest assured that we have a bunch of quiet days ahead of us. The next chance of seeing some rain, other than a couple showers that are in northwest Indiana right now, isn't really going to be until early next week. Oh, cool. So we can really breathe a sigh okay. of relief. So we had back-to-back -back days of severe thunderstorms in the Chicagoland area, and the confirmed tornadoes that I'm going to show you first are coming from Sunday night's storms. So a couple nights ago, there was an EF0 from LaGrange to Cicero, another in Esmond, another in St. Charles, another in Elburn, and there were two confirmed tornadoes Sunday night in the city of Chicago. The first one went from Midway to Bronzeville. That was an EF0. And then we had another one from Inglewood over toward Jackson Park. Again, all of those were from Sunday night. So we had six confirmed tornadoes on Sunday night, and now we are still assessing the damage from Monday night storms. But so far, there have been five confirmed tornadoes that touched down on Monday night, but that number is likely going to go up. So the National Weather Service, they are out and about surveying 29 different paths that could lead to potential confirmed tornadoes. But again, these are just five of them so far. So we had EF1 tornadoes that have been confirmed in Shanahan and then in Chicago from the near west side to the west side of the loop. Another EF1 in Bristol and Oswego and then EF0s were confirmed in Justice and Bridge Bridgeview and then another one in Crown Point. But again, our Monday night tornado count that is undoubtedly going to be going up. So your high temperatures today, most of us made it into the low to mid 80s, 84 at O'Hare, same thing in Gary. We hit 83 in Valparaiso and Aurora, 84 in Waukegan. Here's where we're headed over the next couple of days. It's going to be really comfortable. So of course, yesterday and Sunday, it was just downright uncomfortably hot. We had temperatures that were in the 90s for a lot of us, but heat index values that were in the triple digits. We're not going to see heat like that anytime soon. We're just kind of bouncing back and forth between the 70s and low 80s here for the rest of this week. The radar right now, again, we do have a couple spotty showers in portions of Northern Porter County reaching over to LaPorte County. These are not severe. In fact, we're not even seeing any lightning associated with those. It's just brief, heavy downpours that are sinking to the south and the east. The rest of the area, we are very calm and quiet, enjoying some sunshine. So future cast taking us throughout this evening and tonight. Not much to be concerned about other than those couple stray showers are in Porter and LaPorte County. By tomorrow morning, we're waking up to partly cloudy conditions. Skies become nice and sunny through the day. It's going to be gorgeous. We'll have temperatures topping out right around 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. And then looking ahead to Thursday, Thursday morning, we're starting off with that northerly wind flow and we have high pressure that's going to be building in. So that's going to keep the sunshine around but temperatures with that northerly wind going to be running a little bit cooler. We are only topping out in the mid to upper 70s across the area on Thursday. So for tonight, 68 degrees, quiet night ahead of us. We'll have northwesterly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Seven-day forecast tomorrow, 80, lots of sun Thursday and Friday. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-70s on Thursday, Friday, 82. Your weekend, rain-free at this point, partly cloudy with highs in the 80s. Keep it here. We have more local news coming up.